Hello and welcome to Poseidon Tech. This is Unify Express, a compact gateway designed for small installations like homes and offices. It has a one port, a LAN port, a USB Type-C for power supply and a reset button. Essentially, it's a 3-in-1 device that combines a Unify security gateway, a Unify cloud key, and a Unify 6 access point. Unify Express can manage up to four additional Unify network devices. That's a total of one, two, three, four, five Unify devices. Unify Express comes in this box. Let's unbox it. Inside the box you will find the Unify Express, a card with a QR code to download the Unify Network app, one Unify patch cord, and a USB Type-C power supply. I will now prepare the device for setup. First, I will connect the power supply. This is a patch cord from my internet service provider's router, so I'm going to plug it into the one port of the Unify Express. After a while, the Unify Express is now ready for setup. To set it up, I will use Unify Network App on my iPhone. Unify Express has been automatically discovered. The initialization process takes about two minutes. Now, we have to select whether we will set up Unify Express as a new system. In this case, Unify Express will act as a Unify router, controller and access point. Alternatively, we can add it to an existing system where it will act as a Unify 6 access point. For this demo, I will set it up as a new system. I will give it a name. And then I will create my Wi-Fi network. When finished, tap on Connect. The setup is now complete and I will connect to my new Wi-Fi network by tapping the Join button. Everything looks good. Let's proceed. This is the main Unify dashboard where you can get an overview of your network. It displays information such as the number of Unify devices, the connected clients on your network and various useful statistics. As you can see, I currently have only one Unify device. Let's go ahead and add a few more devices. I will add the USW Flex switch, which has four PoE ports. The USW Flex switch can be powered over Ethernet from another PoE switch, but since this is my only switch, I will use this PoE adapter.
port 1 of the USW switch will be connected to PoE port of the adapter. While the LAN port of the adapter will be connected to the LAN port of Unify Express. Even though Unify Express has built-in Wi-Fi 6, let's suppose that we also need to add this Unify 6 light access point to our installation. I will connect this access point to one of the PoE ports of my switch. Now that my new devices are connected, let's open the Unify app to set them up. The new devices will be automatically discovered, so just tap on the Setup button. And just like that, I now have three Unify devices. All these Unify devices are wired connected. Now let's suppose we need to expand our Wi-Fi network, for example in a room where there isn't any UDP cable. I will use a Unify Express, which when added to an existing installation will function as an access point. In our example we assumed that there isn't any UDP cable to connect it directly to my switch. However, Unify Express is a mesh access point, so I only need to connect the power supply. Unify Express is now ready for setup. From the Unify devices, you will notice that Unify Express is ready for adoption. So, I will tap on Adopt Device. Unify Express has been successfully added as a mesh access point. The Wi-Fi signal is displayed on the LCD screen of Unify Express. Now, I have Wi-Fi in my room, but I would also like to connect a couple of wired devices, such as a NAS or a Raspberry Pi. So, I will go ahead and add this Unify Flex Mini Switch. I will need to connect the LAN port of the Unify Express to a port of the mini switch. The Flex Mini is waiting for adoption. It has been successfully added to my network, so let's continue. How about adding another Unify Express? This time, I will connect it to my mini switch. Unify Express is ready to adopt, so I will tap on the relevant button. Oops! I forgot that Unify Express can only manage 5 unified devices, including itself. I still want to add it to my network, so I will remove the Flex Mini from my installation. Since I removed the Mini switch, I will connect the third Unify Express directly to the second one. Of course, now I can add it to my network. Let's now take a closer look at the Unify topology. The first Unify Express functions as a router, cloud controller and Wi-Fi 6 access point. 
The second Unify Express is wirelessly connected to the first Unify Express using Unify Mesh and serves as a Wi-Fi 6 access point. The third one is connected with a UDP cable to the second Unify Express and also operates as a Wi-Fi 6 access point. In my opinion, the Unify Express is ideal for small installations. Its price compared to other Unify devices is great and I highly recommend it for beginners. While Unify Express lacks some features compared to the other Unify gateways, it is more than sufficient for most network installations. You can create multiple Wi-Fi networks, add VLANs, and set up VPNs. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. See you in the next episode.